Students often confuse graphs and data tables. The thing on the left is a data table and it tells us everything that we did in the experiment, um, point by point, what we did, what we measured, what we did, what we measured. The graphs help us to quickly visualize the data relationships. And they're pretty much like a picture of data, which is worth a thousand data points on a data table. The dependent variable always goes on the Y axis, which is how long it took for the object to get to the bottom of the ramp. And the independent variable always goes on the X axis, which is how high the ramp was. We figure out what our highest amount is, which was 10 on the ramp height, and then break it down in um, reasonable increments. And then the highest time that we had at the bottom was five. So we put that at the top and then break it down. Then all we got to do is look at our data points and figure out how to make our dots. And so we go over by the ramp height and up by the time to the bottom and draw a dot. And then over by the ramp height, so in this case four, and up to the three, which is a time to the bottom and draw a dot. And then over two centimeters, up five seconds, and draw a dot. Then we connect all of the dots, right? And we get our data trend. And so here we can see that as the ramp height increases, the time to the bottom is decreasing. For a complete graph, we need to make sure it has a tail, so a title. The axes need to be labeled, which we did, yay! The increments on the axes need to be broken evenly, so our data makes sense. And then any labels on lines, which are usually gonna be for things where we have multiple data sets, which we'll see with our next example. In our video lab on the effect of temperature on solubility, we looked at three different temperatures of water and how they impacted the amount of salt and sugar that was dissolved in 100 milliliters until the solutions became saturated. And so this amount of salt and sugar that we kind of measured as the output was our dependent variable that was affected by the independent variable of the temperature of the water being changed. What we're gonna wind up with here are two separate lines that will each have three data points. And so for the salt line, we're going to go over by the cold temperature and up by the amount dissolved and draw a dot. Then we're going to go over by the medium temperature and up by the amount dissolved and draw a dot. And then finally over by the hot temperature and up by the amount dissolved and draw a dot. So we're gonna wind up with three different dots. The same thing will go for sugar. Over by the temperature, up by amount dissolved, draw a dot. Over temp, up amount dissolved, draw a dot. Over temp, up amount dissolved, draw a dot. Now you're gonna have your increments settle out based on the information that you got grabbed from the lab. But then you're gonna connect those dots and label them as salt and sugar. And this is gonna give you a really clear picture on the pattern that happened in our experiment of the effect of temperature on the solubility of salt and sugar.